Guys, I'm an odd man front team, a 3-3-5, three, three, a 3-4 three, team, if you will. What we try to do is, facing, facing most spread teams, we see the spread all the time. Okay, I'm sure you guys do, because many of you didn't raise your hand when I said, who goes against wing T teams? Most of you, most of you face spread teams. Guys, spread teams in my world, very similar to defend. I have guys that can run all day long, big, fast. So here's the brand of football that sometimes you see in the state of Florida that's, that's very, very, very unorthodox, if you will. Okay, playing Georgia Tech. You know, when you go to a coach's clinic and you ask a coach, a college coach, how do you stop wing T? They all look at you like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, when you play Army and you play Navy and those, wing, those, those triple option teams, no one's in the know about really how you can attack that deal. Well, guys, we do something very unorthodox in, in, in Jacksonville Reigns. We play our odd man front. And as you hear, and we never play with our free safety in the middle of the field. As you can see, as you can see, this guy right here is the corner, and that's the free safety. The corner and the free safety will always have a two-shell look so that they're always we're trying to play with 11 guys. Because, again, guys, when you, when you face wing T ball, you got to have an extra guy that's an unaccounted for in the run game or you will get exposed. Now, this, this coach here, Coach Rogers up top here, again, this guy is by far one of the best to do it in Florida in the nation, recognizing the nation, 13 state titles. What he tried to do is he tried to simple, simply maneuver the pieces so that he has an extra hat as a blocker so that you cannot stop his run game. Because here's the deal. As I stayed up all, one, all late one night trying to find a way to beat this guy, one coach said to me simply, Coach, he's going to do two things. He's either going to run or he's going to throw. He put my shoes on very quickly for me and gave me a peace of mind. But again, it didn't make the battle no easy, but what, what we try to do is, we try to be fast and physical. As you see, guys, we have an odd man front here, a five-man front. Guys, you notice, when you're facing a wing T team, we try to keep three backers in the box. Because again, wing T teams can't, they, they don't like to see a three-backer scheme, okay? They like, they like to see two. Okay, so in the odd man front, you give, us, you give us three backers in the box. And as you can see, as I, I go up with the film here, as you can see, it's so, now I'll pause the film, I'm going to take it back. Now, when I pause the film here, guys, and it's, it's play action boot, let's see how many guys are running free. Now, that's the way that I gauge my guys on, all, it, is their eyes right? Because I'm going to tell you something about winning football, as you look in the backfield, if you are looking in the backfield with all the moving pieces, guys, you will be exposed quick. This man, this, this man and Coach Rogers here, all of his box scores go like this, guys. 65 nothing, 65-10, 54-7. And he gets there by running the football. It's nothing fancy, guys. He's coming right at you. So again, the, the schematic part of it is very key. But I'm going to run the film and pause it again, and I want you to see all the guys that are covered. I'll take you back here in a second, right here. Okay? We're communicating. You see it. Guys, we have all guys covered. Okay? Okay, another clip. Now, guys, how hard, how tough is it as a defense, all the defensive coordinators in here to have a team that uses the same personnel that goes from wing T one play to the spread the other? What that does for you, it makes you limit your what? Limit your calls. So you got to find one call that will service it all, that will service the wing T, that will service spread to get you out of it. Because again, if you're a defensive guy, you're always trying to find the what? The tendency, is that correct? What are the, what are, what are the offense tendencies? Okay, by personnel or by formation? 